everybody. It is Wednesday. I hope everybody is uh, doing well, staying safe. Uh, and we are here for our weekly story. Um, it's my No, No, No Day by Rebecca Patterson. I'm sure moms, you've heard this word quite frequently from your toddlers and maybe your big kids too. So we're going to kind of uh, read today's story and let's see what we're up to. All right. All right. Let's get into it. My No, No, No Day by Rebecca Patterson. My No, No, No Day. Yesterday, I woke up and Bob was crawling around my room, licking my jewelry. So I shouted, get out of my room. And that was the start of my No, No, No Day. Then I came downstairs and I saw that egg and I cried and I cried and I said, I can't eat that. And mommy said, you could, eat, you could eat it last week. Look at Bob eating his mashed banana. After the terrible egg, I didn't like my shoes either. So I took them off all by myself shouting, no shoes. Then we had to go shopping and mama, mommy said, please stop wiggling, Bella. But I couldn't stop wiggling. And in the end, I shouted, get me out. Mommy said, you will give Bob an earache and you're giving me a headache. And Bob poked me and said, ear. At lunchtime, Sasha and her mommy came to play and to have some peanut butter and grapes and a cookie. But my cookie broke. Then I couldn't play nicely and I kept saying, no, you can't be princesses. And in the end, Sasha and her mama went home. In the afternoon, it was my ballet lesson. I said, ballet is too itchy. And, but it was very loud and Mrs. Clark stopped playing the piano. And Ms. Louisa said, dear, dear, perhaps you should sit in the corner. On the way home, we met the lady who lives next door. And she said that Bob was the sweetest thing she'd seen all day. And then she said, how is Bella? I was a long way behind, so I had to shout, I have a hurting foot. And mommy said, I could keep my voice down and I could please stop lying on the sidewalk. Then it was time for my supper and my bath, but those peas were too hot and our bath was too cold and I was too wet and it was too minty. And after that, I rolled and I rolled and I said, no bed, no, 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 no bed, no, no. And mommy said, well, I think someone needs to go to bed. But I rolled all over my room and then I rolled into Bob's room. Bed is for babies. And then I yawned, a little yawn. Then I crawled into my room and mommy said, who wants a story? And I said, Nobody. But she came into my room anyway, and we cuddled up and I had all and I had my best story about fairies and cake. Yawn. I yawned again and I said very quietly, Today was a very bad day, mommy. Sorry. And she kissed me goodnight and said, I know, we all have those days sometimes. Perhaps you will be more cheerful tomorrow. And I was, I was, I was cheerful all day long. Moms, you've heard this, haven't you? No, no, no. This is a uh, little Bella was having a bad day. So, um, how do you deal with those moms, dads, when your toddler is having a bad day? We're all entitled to a bad day. Um, it doesn't mean that you stop your schedules. It doesn't mean that you stop, uh, maybe you know, if you have uh, to redirect your child. Um, sometimes they get off their schedule and then they have a bad day. So extra schedules work really well. And this actually applies to your older kids too. If they know what to expect, we know we're having dinner, you know, even the older kids and they can have a bad day at school. You know, they, they 
don't do well on the exam, they're having trouble with their friends, and they come home and they're big grouch. So give them their space. Even the little ones, you give them their space and they go, okay, let's go back and let's come back. Even though she didn't want a book to be read to her, when mama, mama still insisted on coming to reading her a book. Um, these are not unusual for any age group. I mean, even as adults, we have bad days and then we come home and... You know, we may take it out on other people in our home, and you just have a bad day, and then it carries over. So uh, we want to restart the day, right? And uh, we've got to kind of give kids those opportunities also because they're going to have bad days. You're going to say, yep, yeah, I know you have a bad day. I know you don't want to eat peas, but this is what we're having for dinner. And so you still establish those rules. You still establish those schedules, but you acknowledge that your child is having a bad day, and then you get your child back on track. Uh, recognize that you know it's nap time and maybe not scheduling a trip to the grocery store during nap time may not maybe that's something you may say, okay we're not going to schedule you know grocery shopping on two o'clock in the afternoon on a Thursday when we also have to pick up sister at school at 3 30 so and it's nap time so you know you we have to make some adjustments but, I mean, we want to take, you know, the children also need to adapt somewhat, but we don't want to disrupt the schedule so much that they just really have a bad day. And uh, no, no, no. And it makes me frustrated, Mom. You get upset, which now makes your child more upset because you're yelling at them. Now maybe the other kids are upset because you're not paying attention to them, and now they start acting up. It becomes a vicious cycle. So... These are all days that we all have. Uh, recognize that your toddler is going to have bad days. They may not like the shoes they're wearing that day, but this is what giving them choices. Would you like your red shoes or your blue shoes? The red shoes. Okay, you made that choice. Okay. Um, they may still back off and say <laughs> they wanted the blue shoes, but um, it is something that we all kids will go through regardless of age. I mean, you have to deal with teenagers that may have had a bad day. So, uh, no, no, no is a very common word, and particularly when toddlers start learning that word, then they really get to they get to uh, use it a bit more frequently. But recognize, acknowledge that, yeah, I know you're having a bad day. I know you don't like peas, but that's what we're eating today. You don't have, okay, fine, don't eat them. And then they'll wait for their next meal and they'll eat. So stick to the schedules as much as possible to avoid having uh, temperature. But some days you'll never know what triggered your child uh, into having a bad day. But they're entitled to a bad day just like all of us. So um, I hope you like this little story. It's a fun little story. Save it, share it, uh, so you can go back to it at other times. Uh, and maybe when your kiddo's having a bad day, well, that's, oh, she's having a bad day too. Let's see. And you're liking the books, and, you know, maybe we'll have a better day ne next day. So, you know, this is a nice little story that you can share with uh, the kiddos. Um, I wanted to touch a little bit quickly on um, our COVID situation. Unfortunately, Tom, the numbers have been going up. Um, Really, moms and dads, please encourage your children that are not vaccinated. Well, no, what? Let's be first. That's all children, even if they're vaccinated, should be wearing a mask. Okay, schools are crowded. We're we're getting. I'm getting phone calls every single day with moms and dads worried. Do I get my kid COVID tested? Do I need it? We got a call from the school. Uh, there's reports of uh, the teachers. Someone came back positive. Yes, the masks are not 100%, but they do offer some protection along with our distance. So we need to continue. Moms and dads, please encourage you to wear your kids, have your kids wear their masks to school. Make sure they wear them properly. Make sure they know how to take them off. Um, make sure they have the hand sanitizers. I know this, is, I've said this before, but we really are in a situation where we need to look out for each other. We need to take all the precautions we can. Kids have to go to school. They are not going back to virtual learning, so we need to make sure that they can be safe at school. The mask helps, helps keep them, teach them how to keep distance, so they can return to school and learn and to enjoy their friends. We want them to do that, but moms and dads, I'm getting a lot of phone calls. There are a few sites that are doing um, rapid testing. There's a two drive-up sites, one um, at Don Haskins Recreation Center, which is on the west side, and then the Marty Robbins Recreational Center here on, I believe it's uh, Visa del Sol, has a drive up. I've heard the lines are really long already. Some people got turned away yesterday. Um, so that's one. Uh, there's those are two drive ups, and then there's a couple. Of, there's I believe the sports center is also going to be reopening here soon for rapid testing because I know schools are requ some of, some of them are asking for negative results. So 
Um, unfortunately, right now, I don't have the nasal swabs here in my office. I'm trying to get those supplies so I can grab the sample for you. Uh, but mine is not the rapid, it's not the rapid uh, COVID test. So there is going to be a delay. But if we need to go, I'm, I'm trying to get that arranged so we can accommodate everybody. Because I know the numbers are going up and everybody is showing up at these sites and wanting COVID testing. So uh, with that being said, though, if your child does get COVID tested at one of these sites and they don't have immediate results, your child needs to remain in quarantine as well as the family. Because if there's a, you, know, you have a pretty good chance that your family goes, well, our cousin got tested, they're positive COVID, we were had a picnic with the whole family was there. Then you all need to get tested and remain in quarantine until you get your results all right your child cannot return to school until they have that uh, we've got a negative result or they their symptoms have revolved, resolved so uh, please keep that in mom, moms and dads we don't want to continue for, uh, spreading the illness because we actually have a lot of other illnesses going on too we have a lot of colds and things like that so the mask actually will help with that too okay masks well not just for covid we can uh, other respiratory viruses that we can prevent as well or minimize mass will help so folks please t uh, take consideration of others and wear your mask all right um, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week and we will see you next time for our story time thank you bye, -bye.